Hi, my name's Danny Davis. I'm 31. Um, I've lived in Nottingham pretty much my whole life. Um, I live on the borders of St Anne's slash Thornywood. I've been married for six years, I think six years, um, to James Davis and we've got a little girl called Aria and she's nearly two. My life before I met Jesus, well, really, I've kind of grown up in a Christian household pretty much my whole life. My auntie was diagnosed with cancer and was believing um, that she was going to be healed and she didn't and she died and it was a really difficult time for me because I think until that, that point I hadn't really ever questioned like God's goodness and remember having a real difficult conversation with my mum in the car where I told her I didn't want to go to church anymore and I wasn't a Christian and my mum's a hardcore like goes like Christian so she kicked me out of the car made me walk home so we used to compromise and they would say you can go to that party if you go to what was the youth club at the time. There was a dance group going on at the time at the, um, the youth ministry. Around that time, things were pretty low and um, I didn't think much of myself. I think there was a lot of self-hate. But I remember being around this environment of people that just seemed to love me for me. And I think that idea felt so far, such a far concept because I'd been with people that kind of wanted something in return, whereas the, these, these girls that I was in a dance group with just seemed to just want to be with me, to be with me. I just remember having a lot of conversations which I thought at the time were just in my head, but I think actually it was probably a dialogue with God where I was starting to ask him about, you know, what does he think of me and about the world and... You know, even in my own 16-year-old head, it felt really real. I remember, you know, it wasn't a big moment for me. It wasn't putting my hand up in a service and saying yes to Jesus. For me, it was like literally in my bedroom. I just remember in that moment being like, I give my life to Jesus. And I didn't know, really know what that meant. Um, but it's, I, I guess now, 15, 16 years on, I think I realise the significance of that moment and how it has transformed my life. God was with me in all of that. And I think that's what I look back on. I think, oh gosh, that situation could have gone so differently. Um, but I look back and think, well, oh, actually, no, I know that God was protecting me even in that. He's just unconditional love, that he just loves me and not because of what I do, um, just because of who I am. Just ask him to reveal himself to you. It doesn't need to be this big, dramatic moment. Um, I think, you know, like me, I found him simply in my bedroom. But he's real and he loves you. And I think that, you know, sometimes can feel so cliche. Um, but I know, you know, I've gone on a long journey of kind of learning what who God is as a father to me. You are his son, you are his daughter, and he loves you. And he wants, he wants to be in relationship with you. It's, it's, he's chasing after you.